I'll tell you what, mate. Oh, that's bigger. That's not one of them. That's something bigger. All right, so we've got our uh, beautiful snapper. This is the one that Dad caught today. Oh, yep. oh he's right on. He's got a fish. Oh. Oh, that's a snapper. That's a little bitey snapper. Actually, that's a pretty good one. Oh, not bad. Oh, hey, look at his nodding. Notting Hill. Oh, I can feel my line around you. Oh, really? Yeah. Swaps. Up to one swaps. Oh, no, Dean's got me. Hang on. It's dropped off. Yeah. And that's why I wasn't, I stopped getting bites because I've got my bait left. All right. Steve, you've changed sides. I'm up. So I'll, look after, I'll get the net ready. I don't think you'll need the net on this one. Well, uh, we'll soon see. Listen, I'm up and Steve might get a bit of action, so. Jesus, this feels flimsy, doesn't it? Hey? What are you talking about, mate? It's a good net. Here we got colour. We got colour. Actually, that's not a bad snapper. That's all right. That's a nice little snapper. That's a nice little one. Hey, we got dinner. There's dinner, boys. Well done. <laughs> yep, just. Beautiful. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Really nice fish. There we go. Yeah, come up over there. Mm, just over here. Hey? Oh yeah. Way way over there. There. I don't think you can pick them up with that. Oh, you're right in front of them. Yes! Oh, beautiful! That's what you want for bait. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate. Oh, that's bigger. That's not one of them. That's something bigger. Oh, <laughs> that, uh, swimming towards me. Oh, oh I popped. No, you got him. Still got him. Still got him. I know. He's going. he's just. Go on, keep going. Uh, oh, that's not a bad little fish, too. Over the top, mate. He gives it in. No, no, it's all right. Is it staying out? Oh, that's what we want to do, man. Come on. You got him pretty well hooked over there. Oh. <laughs> Here, he is. Here he comes. There he is. Oh, he's all right. Yeah, he's got a, a good bit fish. Of, nice bit of blue on him. Keeps on yeah. diving down. What do you reckon it is? Uh, it looks like a bonito. I think it's a bonito. This is a bonito. That'd be nice. It's not that big. No, it's not it's a that big. Fighter. <laughs> you gonna try to lift him in, or you want net him? We'll, we'll just try and net him. I don't want to spook him. No, no. I don't want to lose, lose him. Like the you ready? Yep. Oh, it's a little. What is that? You got what it? What is that? Yep. Is it a mackie or a. Yeah, a little mackie. Little bonito. Is it? On a jig. <laughs> but he looks like a. I don't know. That is good for. Oh, you want to film that? What's that? Look at that little fella. We're gonna use him for strip bait. Good size, good panty, but I'm gonna show you guys how to break this guy down and how you can make use of pretty well most of it and what you can do with it. Uh, so I've removed the, um, the internals. Uh, I've also scaled the fish. So that's just a motion of back of the knife and just scrape down like this and then just rinse it in the salt water. All right, so let's get to breaking this guy down. So, I'm just gonna cut that wing off, and then cut that up to there, pull that guy off, so we've got that wing. Put the fish over, do the same again, so underneath that wing there, and then straight out. Wing two, and up behind here, and just feel for that, that um, bone structure, and just run your knife along the top of it. All the way down to the tail. And then at the end, just put your knife right through and then pull out. And just run our knife back up along that ridge. 
you'll fill the rib cage in there. And then over the back here, we're just gonna slide our knife down and out. Here's a little trick for getting around that rib cage. So what we'll do is we'll put our finger, our thumb in the gut cavity there and what we're going to do is holding the fish by the tail we're just going to slowly rip that apart like that and then you can save the blade on your knife by not hacking at those bones. You see how beautiful that fillet is and then all you do from there is take this rib cage out the bones actually slide back towards the back of the, the fillet. So we've got that and that. And then up here, there is some bones. So if you follow that line through there, take that out. beautiful fillet and then this you can chuck into your curry or this little guy out here uh, so same again on this side run that knife up along And basically yeah you just slowly lifting that flesh just to make sure that you're cutting as close to the bone as possible because you don't really want to waste any of this flesh it's beautiful feel that rib cage Show you guys what I'm doing here. So that stomach cavity, and what happens is that fillet falls down, and you'll see here. So basically, we've got the start of the um, of the rib cage. You can see that bone in there. So hand in. And basically, we're just gonna. Rip that down, just to save the blade of your knife, right? So you can bake this guy off and make a, a fish stock. Uh, we can cut the head off, take the take the um, the fins off, break that down, crumb that. You can make something nice from that as well. But again, take this out here. So just remembering that that bone runs back up this way. So at an angle towards the top of the fillet. And then we'll remove that bone line through here. That there, guys, is the basic breakdown of how I uh, fill up my fish. You've got your wings, your rib cage, curries, anything like that. Your fillets. 
so we've got that beautiful skin, skin on fillet. It's a beautiful size. That would probably feed about two people with this size. And again, you can bake this guy off, use him for um, fish stock. Uh, yeah, but I'll show you some recipes what you do with those later on. Anyway, that's how I uh, break down a fish to maximize uh, the potential of your catch. And I'll catch you guys next time at Zyker's Kitchen. Please subscribe.